Shalom. All praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Rakathu Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rakah Kudash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our spiritual teachers. Salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the true flock of Israel. Shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting this true doctrine. All praises is due to Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Brothers and sisters, I want to talk about two words. Consume versus consumed. What would you rather? Do you want to be consumed or do you want to be consumed? Right? So I went into Google and typed in the meaning of consume. And it says to eat, drink, or ingest. For example, yeah, food or drink. Yeah? That is to consume. So do you want to, to eat or do you want to be eaten? Let's take it serious. And you're going to see why I use this. I'm going to tell you the scripture I used, right? I was reading and it brought this to my attention. Do you want to consume or to be consumed? That's why when we're praying, we ask Yahweh Ba'asham Yashai to give us our daily bread. Is that spiritual food? We need to eat that food, that spiritual daily food. On the right hand side of our Heavenly Father. Because the Most High is a balance. He's got angels on the right, he's got angels on the left. We are seeking that daily bread. Eat that daily bread. Yes? We need to consume on a spiritual sense. We need to consume the word. Take heed to the word. And if you don't take heed to the word, you will be consumed. So let me get Deuteronomy 4. Uh, Deuteronomy 4, verse 23 to 24. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord our power, your God, which he made with you, and make you a graven image or the likeness of anything which the Lord our power, our thy God, have forbidden thee. Forbidden. Why has he forbidden us? to go after other gods, to worship other graven Im Im images. Because it's in 24 here. For the Lord our power is a consuming fire, even a jealous power. He is jealous. He made us, he fashioned us, he owns us. How dare we be fashioned and we go against him? Who fashioned us? The Lord has feelings. He has emotions. But there's a flip side to the Most High. As you all know, He's a power of good. He's a power of evil. Right? There's a flip side. So when I went into the um, blue letter, right, the blue letter, 
for um, Deuteronomy 24, yes? Deuteronomy, so like here, Deuteronomy 4, 24, for the Lord, thy power is a consuming fire, even a jealous power, all right? So when I went into the word consuming, H398, all right? And it says here, I'm going to read up a, a few things here, what it says. To eat, right? You remember? We must eat this word. It's a daily bread. Taking everything according to the scriptures in all righteousness. Follow the whole high, the high holy days, the law, statute, commandments. Eat the whole roll. Be fed spiritually, right? To eat, devour, burn up. Right? You see, there's a flip side to it, you know? There's a flip side. You see, that's why some Christians cannot understand. They always, they always say that the, 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 our God is a God of love. There's a flip side. There has to be a balance. So it's either you consume or you or be consumed. It's still the same eating. But the Lord would switch that around on you. If you don't consume our power daily, eat, drink, meditate, pray, fast. Yes? All of the spiritual above. You're consuming the goodness, the righteousness. The Lord our power would spew you out. And you become consumed. So let me read it again, right? To eat, devour, burn up. To eat, human subject. To eat, devour of the beast and birds. To devour, consume of fire. To devour, slay of sword. To devour, consume, destroy, right? This word here, in a, in a, in a mate, so like here, subject, i.e. pestilence, drought. To devour of oppression. So I'm going to read more, a few more. To be eaten, to be devoured, consumed of fire, to be wasted, destroyed of flesh. You see what I'm saying? You see the flip side? So there's a flip side to it. You have consumed and you have consumed Consume is one side, and the other side, the flip side, is consumed. Right? To cause to eat, feed with, to cause to devour. Right? To feed, to cause to eat. Well, I'm just reading a few more. But you get the point, yeah? You get the point, brothers and sisters. Because our power is a jealous power. And we must serve him. We must repent now. This is the time to repent. This is the time to repent by eating that spiritual food. And if you don't repent, if you don't consume that spiritual food, you will be consumed of that food. I hope you, you're with me, brothers and sisters. I hope that you are with me. You will be consumed. Right? Because the Most High, He's given us grace. He doesn't want us to be consumed. He's just letting us know that He is a jealous power, right? And a consuming fire. He's warning us. Do not, if you do not take heed, you will see the flip side of me. And it says here in um, Lamentations, Lamentations 3, 22. It is of the Lord's mercies 
that we are not consumed because his compassion failed not. You see what I'm saying? Because he has compassion for us, because he loves us, he does not want us to be consumed. He doesn't want that. I said it again, Lamentations 3, verse 22. It is of the Lord's mercies. His mercy is his desire, right? His way, his thoughts. That we are not consumed. You see what I'm saying? Devoured. Remember I was saying some of his words? Devoured. You see how it switches around? Burnt up. He doesn't want that. I say it one more time to let it seep in, brothers and sisters. And I hope that you understand where I'm, what I'm saying according to the scriptures. Right? Based on my understanding through the scriptures, right? Not based on my vain opinion. It is common sense to know that if you do not serve him and you serve other idols, right? You serve other gods, right? You eat of their food, you consume of their food and not of his food, you will be consumed. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not, you hear me? That we are not consumed. He doesn't want to consume us, cons have us consumed. Hey, but when you think about it, it's eating. You don't want to be eaten up by the Most High. We want to eat this word from Yahweh Sham Yahushai. We want to consume this beautiful word. Repent. You don't want to be devoured by our Father. Because when you're eating, you're devouring that food, in it? You're ingesting that food. You're eating and drinking. We want that. We have to serve Yahweh Sham Yahushai. We have to eat that daily bread. Repent. In order to be, so we are, are, we are exempt from being consumed. Right? So that's all I wanted to bring up, brothers and sisters. Do not slap the hand away of the prophets. Do not slap the hand away of the Most High's hand. Do not slap away His tender mercies. Do not slap away his love for us. Right? Because his compassion, his compassion fail not. His compassion, he does, he, he's so compassionate to us. He does not want that to fail. So we have to make it right. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Salakia, I hope you understand what I'm saying, right? I hope you understand. Either you consume or be consumed, right? Is either you die or you live. And we want to live. Through the spirit of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rekar Kodash. Okay, brothers and sisters, Shalom.